Well, hello there geekers. Can you believe it? It is day one of our much anticipated Christmas writing challenge. Today is December the 13th of December the 13th of, wow. <laughs> Today is the 13th of December, 2021, and the very first day of our 12-day Christmas writing challenge. Are you as excited as I am? I bet you are. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Joycelyn Akufo. I'm the Managing Director of Geek School Tutoring. In a moment, there'll be a bit of a blur because I've got to the point where I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again every video. And so I've done what you do on YouTube, which is to record a nice little intro to introduce all of that. Hi there, I'm Joycelyn Akufo. I'm the Managing Director of Geek School Tutoring. So we provide face-to-face -face tuition at our Beckenham and Catford Centre and we also provide online tuition for small groups and also one-to-one -one tuition online. So if you're looking for 11 plus tuition, we cover everything, maths, English, verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning and creative writing and as if that's not enough we have a whole range of DIY video based courses covering everything from our renowned creative writing crash course our express writing course and our independent school interview course and much much more check out the website we have new courses coming up every time. So head over to www.geekscore.co.uk to find out more about how we can help your child ace their 11, 11 plus exams and get into their school of choice. Bye. If you're new to the channel, you may not be aware of the announcement about the Christmas writing challenge. So I just want to give a very quick recap so during the christmas holidays parents have so much to think about whether it's the turkey whether it's you know some sort of game meat that you're deciding to try for christmas duck um, added with the jollof rice and all the trimmings and so on depending on where you're from and then there's always that elephant in the room if your child is preparing for the 11 plus exams, that is the big elephant in the room because independent schools will have their written exams predominantly in January. And <laughs> as if it being in January isn't torturous enough, they tend to do it as soon as school opens. Some schools start as early as the 3rd of January. I mean, could they not even give parents a little bit of respite? Who makes up these rules anyway? So, because of that, I thought, you know something? It's really good to get children keeping up with their writing during the Christmas period. Yes, it's all fun and festivities, but basically two and a half odd weeks of doing nothing. Um, and to be honest, in a lot of primary schools, December is a month of preparing for, you know, nativity plays and all of that. So children tend to start to decline in their creative powers. <laughs> um, you'll understand why I'm using the word powers in due course. And so, something fun like the Christmas Writing Challenge is just what the writing doctor ordered. And so, today is day one, it's the 13th of December, and every day for the next 12 days, finishing on the 23rd of December, there will be a writing task available. Now, if you're wondering where all of these writing tasks will come from, Here's an explanation for you. I'll be right back. A 
Okay, so now that you've watched everything about where to access the writing task, today I want to talk about one of the most important parts of the writing process, which is the plan. You know, you may have heard the saying, fail to plan, plan to fail. And the same works with writing, whether it's a creative story, a descriptive paragraph or a full descriptive writing task, a recount piece, um, a letter, a diary entry, a newsletter article, an email, whatever the case may be, you need to have a plan. Many children either don't know that they have to plan or they're not sure what to include in the plan or they just decide to ignore the plan. I was going to say can't be bothered but of course if you're on the Geek School YouTube channel you are bothered. That's why you're here, right? Yes, I heard everyone say yes. Fantastic. So, basically, basically what we um, want to do is to plan what will business owner, I've seen so many plans from children and some of them write the words that they want to include in their writing. They make notes about having to write about the senses and so on. That is not what your plan is for. I want to say that there. You don't plan the words you're going to use. If you're writing regularly enough, those words should flow and ooze out of your um, out of your mind onto paper with great ease okay it's a waste of time to start planning the words you're going to use planning the senses is fine okay um, it might be how something is done how something smells how something tastes and so on that is absolutely fine um, and then I also see students sometimes writing um, the figurative language that they will use on the plan. I really don't understand that because the figurative language that you use, like similes, metaphors, alliteration, onomatopoeia, and so on, 
they should come naturally as part of the uh, writing process and they should work in context with what you are writing so if you're already predetermining if you've already decided ahead of writing the story that you're going to write a metaphor that said something like um, the clouds were cotton balls in the sky it's a bit strange because you need to get that metaphor to fit in with whatever part of the description you're writing and so how would you know that when you haven't written the story <laughs> so we don't write things like that in the plan your plan is the basic structure of whatever you're writing about be it the story the diary entry the letter and so on that's what the plan is there for okay now hmm if you are a regular on the geek school youtube channel and you've watched any of my videos about creative writing and so on you've probably heard me talk about for breakfast okay so we've had five things in a list which has really added no value to your writing at all um, and then what you tend to see with students who haven't been well coached in how to really um, add that sparkle to their writing the next day what how is it the next day like you've literally woken up you've told us you've just got out of bed you've brushed your teeth had a shower or bath depending on the kind of person you are and your preference and then you've had breakfast and all of a sudden a whole 24 hours passes you by somebody help me here <laughs> why you need to write a plan okay because your order of events your order of description the detail of which you're writing about it has to make sense it has to be in an orderly manner and so when you spend time on the plan you can really shape all of these things uh, all of these parts of your story or your writing um, depending on the writing task and just make it flow sequentially and rationally 
um, or as I like to say, coherently, like it makes perfect sense, not just to you, the writer, but to us, your reader, the markers. <laughs> if it doesn't make sense to the person who's marking your writing, you would definitely lose marks and this is something that a lot of children are not aware of at least when they join geek school you know um, i probably sound like some sort of broken record and i'm happy to be that voice of repetition until our students get it because it's so important okay now i'm going to show you in um screencast I'll attach it here some point here of the different types of plans that come in and I'm going to explain why um, one plan is better than the other and the kind of plans that we shouldn't use okay okay so thank you so much for tuning in to our vlogmas series um, our 12 day christmas writing challenge i will obviously see you bright and early and bushy tailed tomorrow for day two of our christmas writing challenge bye